full-blown acceleration here with the uh, Bolt. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over a Chevy Bolt in the Premier package. But first and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Chevy here in Murray for giving me some time with this Bolt. Check out their inventory in the link below. Let's get straight into the video. So popping under the hood here, we have a driving range of 259 miles with the horsepower being 200 and then the torque being 266 pound feet. And then obviously it's fully electric. Let's go over the front end of the bolt. So first off, the hood is really short and obviously you don't need nearly as much space when you've got an electric car for engine and all that kind of stuff because it doesn't have an engine. Coming down below, we've got these full LED lights with the LED accent lights and you get a little turn signal just down below that. And then notice everything's closed off because again, you don't really need airflow because it doesn't have an engine. Got the blacked out Chevy bow tie there on the front. And then I like how it like comes off to an aggressive point there at the very bottom. But yeah, other than that, here's kind of like your full front view on the Bolt. Coming around the side here, we've got two 15 millimeter tires wrapped around 17 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. And because this car is so small, these wheels actually look pretty big in comparison. I actually like the design on them as well. I think they look really good. And then we do have the little like plug-in system. So you just push that little kind of like uh, raised part on the tab. And then this is where you plug it in because again, it's fully electric and it says Bolt EV there on the side. Um, but yeah, other than that, here's kind of like your full side view and it pretty much looks like a smart car. Oh, oh, we got to make sure we can hear the exhaust. Oh, wait, there is no exhaust. Now let's pop in the back of the Bolt. So first off, you get this little cargo cover that actually covers everything here in the rear. And then you can see you've got a flat loading floor and then underneath got some more storage space under there, which is pretty cool. And the loading floor is kind of weird once you actually pull it out, kind of hard to get in back into place. But again, it's a smaller size car. So, I mean, storage space isn't massive, but I mean, it's pretty decent. And with all that being said, well, so you. Now let's go over the rest of the rear of the Bolt. So first off, I think the taillights look really cool. It's kind of like this cool like wave type design. Then obviously Bolt EV right there. And they've got all your parking sensors there on the bottom portion at the blacked out Chevy bow tie. But yeah, I mean, other than that, things are pretty simple here on the back end. And well, let's head inside. Now let's go over the door panel here in the back of the Bolt. So notice everything's kind of like gray here in the rear. You actually do get heated seats here for the rear. And by the way, here are the rear seats. So you've got the leather here with the perforated leather there in the center. And then I really like the orange stitching there on these sides, but let's actually pop in. So stepping in, it's actually pretty easy to get in. The seats are really comfortable. They're like really soft. If I sit all the way up, I'm 5'11". My hair touches, but my head doesn't. So we win. And then you can see the legroom's really good. Got a couple of USBs right there and then you can see a couple of cup holders as well, but that's the back of the bolt. Go over the door panel here in the front. So again, you've got all of like the gray trim all around. This white trim right here is definitely interesting. Get your door lock and unlock all of your window controls and then your mirror adjustments as well. And then here are the seats here in the front. So again, same gray leather with the orange stitching and the perforated leather there in the center portion. The seats are manually adjustable. And then here's a look at the pedals just down below. You've got your light controls up above and then you've got the adjustment there for the steering wheel. And then other than that, there's one more look before we pop in. Here's the steering wheel in the Bolt. So you've got soft touch leather around the whole steering wheel with the darker stitching on the center portion. Here are voice command, phone controls, the lane keep assist, and then you've got your heated steering wheel over here with your cruise control, and then your collision assistance, and then radio controls are on the back of the steering wheel. And then you have the stock there for the lights and turn signal, and then this is the windshield wiper stock on the other side. But the last thing I'm gonna show you is when you get into the car. So if we turn it off and we pretend like we're gonna get out of the car, and then it's gonna beep at us, and then we pretend like we're getting back into the car, Gives you a little animation, definitely different. So here's actually the center cluster here. Notice that it actually tells you right there in front of you how much range you have left, which is really important for an electric vehicle. There are a couple menus you can kind of scroll through here. So first off, notice that I'm going through the different channels there on the radio, and then I can go to the side, and then notice that you can kind of go through a couple other menus as well, and then you can pop on the other side, and you got more menus. So like I can go to vehicle information, for example, and then I can kind of scroll through these different menus. So yeah. I mean, pretty good system overall, and I think it looks, you know, nice and modern. Now, coming to the infotainment system, if we pop it into reverse, you've got the camera system. Now, the trajectory lines do turn with the steering wheel, and then you do have a zoom function 
with everything. But yeah, there's like a ton of different viewpoints. You can see that this viewpoint right here is just out the front of the car. Um, but yeah, I think the camera system's great. Resolution on the camera system's really good. And you guys know that I really like Chevy's camera system. And then as for the infotainment system, it's a little bit different than Chevy's other infotainment systems. So like it has similar um, functions on it. They just kind of made the screen look a little bit different, which I mean, I'm not complaining about it because I understand they're trying to like make this a little bit different compared to Chevy's other products. But I think if they just put the normal infotainment system in this, that would have been great and I would have been more than happy with it and because it's so easy to use. And then also your heated seat controls are also in the infotainment system itself. Um, but yeah, that's everything for that part. So we've got our analog controls for the infotainment system, and then you get your climate controls there on the side, and then you get a little hazard light button there with the sport mode, which says sport mode on, sport mode off, pretty straightforward. And then your stability control, some blink switches. And then you got some extra storage down here with the little 12 volt and then more storage down there, a couple cup holders. And then here's the shifter, which is kind of weird. So you pull down for drive, you push in for park, and then reverse is up and over. I don't know, definitely unique. Get your little parking brake right next to it. And then you got a couple of USBs. And then this is actually a phone charger and a phone holder, which is pretty neat. And then we have the center console here, which, I don't know, pretty uh, normal size center console. Sorry about my jacket getting in the way there. Got some stitching on top of it. And then you got more of that white trim, which is different. I don't know what else to call it. And then notice you've got this line right here that kind of goes all over the dash. I think, like, aesthetic-wise, I think it looks really nice. And then got the glove box, which... Pretty normal. Now up top here, we've got all of our light controls, lighter colored headliner, nothing crazy. And this has a camera mirror, which is a definitely neat feature. I absolutely love camera mirrors, super nice. And that's all for the top. Now that we're done going over the interior on the Bolt EV, let's quickly get into the pricing. So in terms of pricing, this Bolt EV in the Premier package tickers for about $44,000 before any type of market adjustment. Now, normally I don't talk about the market adjustment on vehicles because it just varies month to month and it can go you know up and down and all over the place. But what I will say is the Bolt EVs are like highly, highly incentivized. Like there's pretty big discounts on them. That's all I'm going to say. Check them out. But Let's take her out and see how she drives. So if you got to this point in the video and you were waiting for an exhaust startup, then, um, sorry. Let's talk about visibility here in the Bolt before we set off. So first, visibility of the hood's really good because it slopes right down and it's absolutely tiny. And there's your visibility through both of the mirrors. And then here's throughout the rest of the rear. There's a little bit of a blind spot there, but it's not too bad. And that all being said, let's set off. Well, we are setting off here in the Bolt. And I mean, I've never driven one of these before. So it's actually pretty exciting for me because I've always wanted to drive one of these. And I'm trying to get into driving more electric cars for you guys because obviously it's uh, the way of the future, as they say. Um, but first off, from a ride quality perspective, it's really smooth. Um, and something that I do like about the braking is it's not too intrusive. Now there is a low that I can pop into as well. And that really like does craziness with the uh, regenerative braking. Like, okay, watch this. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna let off the pedal and drive. So you guys can see it coasts pretty much like a regular car, it does slow down, um, but it's not like at a crazy rate or anything like that. And there's nobody behind me, so I'm gonna pop into the L and just, oof, it like really, really slows down. So the regenerative braking's hardcore on that. Um, so then that would kind of be like your, uh, what they call one pedal driving, um, where you're basically just gonna be driving with the accelerator pedal and then letting off, and then that'll do the braking for you rather than using the brakes. Um, so it just depends on your driving style and all that. Um, turn-in's really good. So one thing that's nice about these electric cars is they do put the uh, most of the weight, like the batteries and all that, that are the heaviest parts, down lower in the car. And so it does help with the center of gravity. Um, and so they turn in pretty well. And this is also just a really small car. So it's going to have a good turn-in just because of the size of it, no matter where the weight distribution really is. Um, but yeah, so far it's obviously quiet because it's electric, um, but it's really smooth. Like this would be such a nice daily driver because it's quiet, it's smooth, it's comfortable, the seats are comfortable. Um, and if you don't like really like electric cars, like how they drive, this one pretty much feels like a normal car other than the fact that you don't hear engine noise. So we are going over the famous train tracks right here, and then we're gonna get our full-blown acceleration here with the uh, Bolt. 
pretty good. I mean, it doesn't like smash you in your seat like a Tesla does, um, but it's actually pretty good. Like it's it's got a decent amount of get up and going. I mean, since this is fully electric, I mean, it's all instantaneous. It definitely like compared to, so like a lot of cars like that, I guess are in this size segment um, that are gonna have gas engines, typically have four cylinders, typically have CVT transmissions. This drives so much better than um, that. I would honestly rather have this than any of those cars, um, just because it's so much smoother and the acceleration so much, it's just, there's not a ton of effort put into it. Like, it just goes and it's smooth and it's not like you're having, like, especially, like, I'm not trying to hate on CVTs, but if you've ever driven one, it's just, the transmission's not that smooth and, the acceleration's kind of weird all over the place. You can't really count on it. Like sometimes you floor it and you get a decent amount of power. Other times you floor it and nothing really happens. Whereas this, you floor it and something always happens. Um, definitely does die off a bit at higher speeds, but I mean, that's kind of like a characteristic of electric vehicles, unless you get like a $200,000 Tesla, then you might still get some punch at higher speeds. But let's get into summing things up here with this Chevy Bolt. So from a styling perspective, yeah, definitely understated, and I'll pop it uh, out of the sport mode, by the way, and we'll put it back into the, we'll do the L again so that we can do our one pedal driving so you guys can kind of see. I mean, look, like, it slows down so incredibly fast. I mean, look at that, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, the styling, definitely an understatement. Um, it doesn't have crazy styling or anything like that. It, but I mean, I think it's, it's an okay looking car. Uh, the interior, I actually like the interior. I think it's really good looking. It doesn't necessarily have the nicest materials everywhere, but I still think that it's, it's a good looking interior overall. And then from the infotainment system, all that, like I said, I wish they would have just done Chevy's normal unit. I would have preferred that to whatever craziness is happening here that they tried to make, you know, look just different um, for this car. And then from the driving experience, I think it's great. It's smooth. It's got more than enough power for like a commuter car. And I mean, the accelerate, like because it's electric, you always get the power right from zero RPMs because it doesn't have to rev up for an engine. Uh, so yeah, I mean, overall, I think this would be a great daily and the discounts you can get on this right now are just massive. They are absolutely massive. And so, I mean, this would be a great car that you, I mean, even buying brand new, you can get it for so cheap with the discounts that I think this would just be a really solid daily. Now that is gonna sum things up for our video on this Bolt EV in the Premier package. And again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Chevy here in Murray for giving me some time with this Bolt EV. Check out the inventory on the link below. I'll see all of you in the next video.